guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be creating an Egyptian kind of Nefertiti inspired look. I've never done any Egyptian looks before. Um, I always wanted to do them. I've always been like obsessed with Egyptians. Anything, anything like got to do with it, like pyramids, Nefertiti, pharaohs, Tutankhamun. Like I always loved just watching, like I'd watch errors on National Geographic and Discovery about Egypt and I, I know I'm such a weirdo but uh, I just love the whole culture I love the colors they go with I just love all the goddess I just love all the goddesses goddesses um, I just love everything about it so if you want to see how to recreate this look please stay tuned give it a like and subscribe and yeah that's everything I'll talk to you very soon bye guys Going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation, I'm popping this all over the skin. This is a full coverage dewy foundation, so it will cover up literally everything. It looks flawless on the skin. Going a little bit darker than my skin tone, because Nefertiti was dark. She been doing those sunbeds though, girl. Buffing it in with my NYX Beauty Blender will just give a full coverage. High definition. Taking my HD Makeup Forever Concealer, I'm popping this under the eye area. This is such a creamy, medium coverage concealer, so as it does cover up, it doesn't sit in any lines. Buffering this all over the eye area, on the cupid's bow, and just buffing it out into the foundation to give that flawless finish. Taking my Makeup Forever Translucent Powder, I'm popping this all over the skin with my NYX powder puff. I usually use the loose powder but I tend to use this quite a lot now. They're both really the same, just whatever you find easiest. This will mattify any oiliness in the skin because I am an oily bitch. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, I'm creating those arched brows. Egyptians had really strong brows but they didn't have the fade in the center so I'm really just giving that strong definition. These are real hun brows. Oh girl! Taking my NYX palette I'm going in and I'm gonna carve out that cut crease. Taking a coffee colour, I'm going in and just mapping it out. Taking a deeper brown, I'm just going to carve that over again. And then I'm going to go in with a little brush and just buff that out. I love buffing the cut creases. They take so long sometimes, but it's so worth it. I used to find these really hard and now it's literally like doing a smoky eye. Taking my creamy concealer by Makeup Forever, I'm carving out that cut. I always do this step because it just really gives a clean, sharp effect. You don't have to be too neat with it and then you can go in with the concealer and that just cleans it up. Taking the blue from the NYX Bright Palette, I'm popping this all under the eye area. Oh girl, that teal though. Yes, come through. Taking my Makeup Forever bronzer, I am bronzing that skin. Nefertiti has like a sun-kissed glow, it's all about that tanned Egyptian skin. So that's what I'm going for. Taking my fave Jeffree Star King to highlight, I decided to pop this on the whole face. I was like, fuck it, she is glowing for the gods. literally everywhere. Look at that glow though. 
Take my next epic ink liner. I am creating this block effect on the lip. This is really easy to work with and it's what I created the wings with as well. It's such a nice liner and it doesn't bleed. Take my SFX cream in NYX Gold. I am creating lines on either side. Take my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm putting on some gold leaf. One of my faves. Taking the NYX Cream again. I'm popping this all over the neck. It does get a little bit messy, but it's so worth it in the end. Ooh, glow chest. Ah, oh, gold leaf is a life. Popping this all over the neck and you can take a set and spray and look at it, it's just absolutely stunning on the chest. I finish this off with a headpiece I created from a nun's costume and that is the final look. Finishing it off with just some more gold leaf. And there we have it girls. Ah, glowing beauty.